Google Assistant. It's the next best thing that we have to Jarvis. But I know what you're wondering. Is it? Is it? Well, let's find out. So without wasting any time, let's waste some more time with our intro. Hey everyone, my name is Kaushal Malkan and you're watching TechHoop. So in this video, I'm going to talk about 9 different amazing Google Assistant tricks that you can try on and make your life as automated as possible. So there are plenty of things that Google Assistant can do, but people generally don't know about it. And if you're one of those smarties who actually know these tricks, then hit the thumbs up button and let me know in the comments, but politely, okay? Because in my last video, which you can check out over here, you guys abused a lot saying that Useless video, tell us something new. We are a new channel, okay? We are trying, so shut up. Tip number one, change accent. So, are you one of those people who use Google Assistant a lot but are still using the default voice that they have on it? Are you? Then only I have just one word for you. Lame. I mean, there are so many voices to choose from in different accents, in different languages, in different tones, and you're still using the default one. Why? Why? Tell me why. Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a heartache. Okay, fine. I'll show you how to do it. So all you have to do is open up your home screen, say, okay, Google and voice settings. If you want to change my voice, tap assistant voice below. If you want to retrain me to respond to your voice, tap assistant settings below, then tap voice model, then retrain voice model. Okay, so as we can see, the next thing we have to click on is assistant voice. So now here are all the different voices that are available to us. Uh, it could be male, female, as we can see, they are denoted by different colors. So let's check them out. Here are the voices you can pick for your Google Assistant. If you like this voice and want me to keep using it, just stop here. Or oh, this one, the blue one. Here are the voices you can pick for your Google Assistant. If you like this voice and want me to keep using it, just stop here. So as we can see, there are female voices and male voices and we can even change accents to British or even Australian if we want. So let's try the Australian one. Here are the voices you can pick for your Google Assistant. If you like this voice and want me to keep using it, just stop here. Oh, let's see the British one. Here are the voices you can pick for your Google Assistant. If you like this voice and want me to keep using it, just stop here. I certainly like that voice, so I would love to keep using it. Thank you. And that's it. Also remember that you can get even more different accents if you choose different languages. So you can get German, Espanol, etc, etc. Tell me something. In today's day, how many emails do you get every day on an average? I get a lot of emails and sometimes it gets really frustrating to find out an important one that we have. Like if it's sent by one of my friends or someone, I, it get, just gets lost among all the company mails that I get every day. Here also, our Google Assistant comes to our rescue. Thank you. With the Assistant, we can easily just open up the messages from any one particular contact or any one particular period of time if, if we want. For example, my friend Jay, he must have sent me some mails a few days ago and I just want to directly see all the mails that are sent by him. So I'll just say, okay Google, check my mails from Jay Garg. Here's the email I found. Or if I want to check out my mails from last year, so instead of scrolling all the way through multiple pages on Google, I can just say, okay Google, check my mails from January 2018. Here's the email I found. Tip number three, IFTTT. If this, then that. Did you know that apart from all these default Google Assistant tricks, there is an amazing service called If This Then That, where people can create their own different types of routines along with the Google Assistant. So there are features like you can post uh, tweets with Google or you can use the Google Assistant to add a new Google contact if you want. Or one which I use all the time is by creating a text note just by dictating it to the Google Voice Assistant. Hmm, that's a cool song. 
So what will you do in this situation? So there are three things that you can do. The first one is actually try to remember the lyrics and Google them when you reach home. Option two is use Shazam or any hundreds of other third party apps and use that to search the song. Or you can do what the big brains do and use Google Assistant. Just say, okay, Google and ask him, what's this song? And before you start saying in the comments that everyone knows this trick, I already know that, okay? But everyone doesn't. My mom didn't, okay? This is for her. Smash that like button if you love your mom. Do you like music? Like music? You tell me. Do you like breathing? Then let me challenge you to a song quiz. Talk to song quiz. Getting song quiz. Welcome back to Song Quiz. How many people want to play Song Quiz? So how this game works is, you have to just choose any of the decade that you know most of the songs of, and then you will just be pitched against any random opponent across the globe. That's it. So I personally play this game a lot, and if you're really lucky, you might even get a chance to play with me. And if you're even more luckier, then you can even lose from me. Tip number six, the movie quiz. So just like the song quiz, this one is for all the movie buffs which love watching movies all the time. So this is the game that you have to play to test your skills. So what it does, it will just play a 10 second audio clip from any of the movies and then you just have to randomly guess which movie it is from. I personally lose in this game a lot so I prefer the song quiz where I actually win. But you can surely try out your luck on this one and let me know in the comments how was your performance on this game. Trick number seven. Reminders. But Koshal, I already have a lot of reminder apps on my phone. Why should I use Google Assistant for this? Kindly enlighten. I really wish you all of you guys spoke like that. Well, let me ask you. Does your reminder app give you location-based reminders? Didn't think so. So Google Assistant also gives you a location-based reminder as I just said, all you have to say is, okay, Google, remind me to get a stapler when I reach work. Okay, I'll remind you when you get to work. And I will automatically get reminded to get a stapler as soon as I reach my office. So now, why don't you try this out with different locations? Trick number eight, set up routines to automate tasks. Tell me something. What do you do every morning? I mean, after you poop. Do you send a work mail to any of your colleague or do you open any app or do you send a good morning text to your girlfriend maybe saying good morning babs i love you like baby dolls and you don't have to type this out i mean you should not type this out but you don't have to type now at least so what this feature does is it allows you to have different routines at different parts of your day you can create new routines or there are some pre-made routines which are already in your account which you can actually use and even modify so my favorite one is the morning routine which just gives me a highlight of the how my day looks like and all the current news that i have so all i have to do is open google assistant and say good morning good morning kaushal the time is 11 19 a.m now you can create as many routines as you want of whatever it is that you desire the only limit is your creativity so if you have any routines thought out or you already have made some then do share it with my other viewers so that even they can benefit from it Trick number nine, bonus questions. So have a look at this list of all my favorite questions and ask it to your Google Assistant and see the answers for yourself. So that's it for today. These were the nine best Google Assistant tricks that you can use right now. So now that we're at the end of the video, I just have this one small request which I'd like to make. So I just want to increase the amount of interaction that is between me and you. So what I'd like you to do is just type in the comment of whatever video you would like me to make next. Uh, and the one which gets the most amount of comments will be the one which I'll make next. So it doesn't matter what the topic is, just write your comment and I'll make that video for you. So that's all for today. Smash that dislike button if you didn't like the video and in case you liked it, you know what to do. So 
Thank you for watching. My name is Kaushal Malkan and peace out.